I, we, we said at the summer skirmish there's never been a more stacked lobby. I take back everything I've said. <laughs> we I mean, have never been seen one a now. more stacked lobby than this in Fortnite right here. history. You are about to watch the most skilled players in the world battle it out for six straight games for just shy of $2 million in prizes. For player integrity reasons, skins have been randomized during these matches. Every game, we everyone's going to sure. be using different skins. The number of teams now that are in line of sight of each other is its going to be insane. You have Funk Bomb, Nate Hill here. We cut across. They're just outside the zone. They're going to have to rotate northwest ever so gently, sharing the ammunition, this little base they built. Nate trying to go for a snipe shot, just watching for any team to rotate. Now's the time to do it, too, because he doesn't have to. This, these two, they don't have to move very far. Shots coming from multiple directions while they're editing holes, windows, and walls to try and take shots of their own. Looking for parties rotating away. 87 medium ammo. A handful of shotgun oh shots. Tifu gets sniped. 39 meters from Nate Hill. Riff from Cloak just trying to make it away. And, and, the, and, that, and he's the just got to accept it's choice. gone. That's how Tifu goes out. Nate Hill, fellow phase member with lightning quick reactions, hits the shot. And now Cloak sees left by himself. Eight players remaining, 13 on this zone. Remember, you begin to get towards the top five when you earn the points for placement as well. Cloaksy's still in this one. He's earned multiple eliminations as well with getting him and Tifu a point. The feet there. You've got Saint now playing the high ground. He's got the a reload. reload. Cloaksy's still in this too. Four players Eight. left. Oh, he's got this. He's got to have this. He's just playing the Three heel of zone. Hits. You saw the smile as well. I think he knows he's got it. I think he knows he's got it. There's no, no. way. Cloaksy's done all he can. Cloaksy's done all he can. That's it, though. Make some noise. Paint with the heels. Well played. And just like that, they get it done. But you know what? Cloaksy's hyped by himself. The man goes all the way to top two with, I believe, he had like five limbs on his own. The game one standings. Let's see who's on top. Where do we stack up in this ridiculous Fortnite lobby right at the top? It's Cloaksy and Tifu. No surprise there. The gentleman from FaZe showing absolute dominance during Heat 1 and doing Klopsy the same thing here. Got six, six of limbs on his own. Tifu dropped. Jack, name a more iconic duo than Tifu and Cloak. I don't think you can. Uh, as we do get ready, some Cloaksy replays because we missed some of those eliminations. Going down that mountain, I really learned something big. Stick grenades late game are everything. And look, right here, he had three limbs with eight players left. Now everyone dropping down. He uses his glider, floats down early, and then he just looks up and begins to fly. Look at his face, too. He might be one of the most calm players in a situation like this that I've ever seen. Literally, there are opponents falling on top of him, and it's just confidence the whole way down. That gold double barrel coming in absolutely massive, but here, Trying everything he can to survive the last second. He gets to a point where he realizes he's not going to be able to med kit up, so he's just got to look up and begin to spray. And unfortunately, as we mentioned, look at how high up their paint is. Just, just hanging out. in the zone. Cloaks, he did what he could all by himself. That's the beauty of duos. This time around, we have a northwest, kind of mid-east, headed towards Lonely Lodge, bus path. Players jumping on out. This is quite a stretch for some typical drops. You might see a later drop from uh, the gentleman from FaZe, Tifu and Cloak. We'll have to see here where they end up landing. And they're on your map at the top right. You also can look at where the llamas are, are scattered. You got two very close next to each other there, one in Dusty and one to the immediate southwest in that corrupted area. That one actually probably going to be pretty exposed. I'd almost bet you, though, the one in Dusty is in a tree. <laughs> and up in Wailing Woods is so secure. Look at this. You always wonder how a llama this. gets in a tree. You made a paper mache. What are you doing up there? <laughs> you see all these POVs all at the same time. Jack, that's a lot of information to take in. I saw that player on your screen that, that Nate was going to take a shot at was ramping and walling, ramping and walling, knowing that to his left side there was an opportunity for opponents maybe to take shots at him. Defensive play, burning materials, not sure how many that, that player was sitting on, but that's uh, covering your tracks while you're moving is, uh, is a good call every single time. How many Raz players? getting bodied, it looks like, by Nate Hill, the snipe shot there and looking for the finish, but builds themselves in. Raz and Bog on the move. Now, Nate and Funk. We've Remember, seen these it was, guys. It was Nate that sniped Tifu in game one to eliminate him. And the setup on Saint, you saw on the bottom right, very good. Nate getting the knock on Fuzzy, which means his teammate Enigma should still be in there. Ghoul going down to a trap from Idle Game Bro in the feed, the knock and the Elam. Saf, R7, bold knock by the Storm. Tifu picking up an elimination on Bizzle. Nate secures that Elam on Fuzzy there. Nate and Funk are going to have to 
actually they're they're just barely safe. They're right inside the edge of the zone here. They have a number of teams that are neighbors. We're now 20 minutes into this game, and there's still 45 players remaining. Tifu trying to inch forward. The storm still pushing. Now it's 17 health. He's he's got to go. Yeah, they're gonna fall all the way down. Glow still sitting pretty with uh, quite a bit of HP, a little bit of shield, just lost some right there. Got a medkit right now. Medkit is going to drop the slurp. Cloak can pick it up. The play here, looking to secure Cloak is basically a tank in this situation, trying to top him off as much as he can, while Tifu, Tifu uses the medkit. Top 13. Tifu and Cloaksy still alive. Remember, coming into this, they were already first in points after game one. There's one for Cloaksy. 11 players now left. How about another as more begin to drop on down? He's going to grapple up to the high ground, trying to chase these limbs. There's more players still above him. Great job with those roofs. 11 players left. Who will begin to earn placement points in this game? He's going to rain down grenades as he still has three, two more in his inventory. Not a lot of mats left. You've got Snoob, Snoot on the high ground as well. He's got no walls. T4 and Cloaksy with another. Six players left. He still has three big shields. He can't use one yet. Cloaksy with another knock. Tifu's going to drop to the storm. It's all on Cloaksy yet again. Can he clutch up? He got second in game one by himself. 27 seconds remaining. You see, everyone else is so weak. You've got to think this is Cloaksy's game to take. He's got the medal as well. One player floating down on him. He tries to react in time. The tag. He's got him weak. A lot of fall damage. No builds. Oh, no. Marksman. After game number two, we are just a third of the way through the action, folks, for the Fortnite Fall Skirmish Grand Finals live from TwitchCon. You know, we've got our updated standings we can take a look at here momentarily as we hop on in, firing them right to you. No, okay, because of the victory royale. There it is. Dementos and Pate will now take that top spot, having that tiebreaker, even though they have, what, six less limbs than Cloaksy and Tifu. It's the victory royale tiebreaker that makes a difference. But you know what, if nobody else is around, which they aren't, you might as well. But they're not the only split duo here. We have a, actually a handful of teams that have landed in relatively separate areas. The play there, Jack, if they know that there's nobody around, they have a chance to build up resource, weaponry, way faster than, uh, than anybody else. Even Tifu and Cloak right here. Cloak building up as he's ramping back up to the bridge there. He's going to go for the glide in to Tifu. Tifu. Going to grab that slurp up top and... If you're a phase supporter here in San Jose, make some noise, please. Oh, yeah, Jack. Cloaks will give you some frost with two elims. They love this zone. They have not moved from where they started at the beginning of this game. This might be the, the lowest movement of any team thus far. I mean, they, they landed that, that set of houses down there and have moved northeast <laughs> only slightly. Yep. Top down view on everybody. Nathan Funk rotating in ever so gently, floating underneath and... And it looks like something happened there with Nate Hill as you see the frustration. We'll have to receive word on what exactly that was as it definitely didn't look ideal. Are they well, six any, of limbs combined right now? Yep. My any goodness. sort of placement point. They're not close enough right now, which means if they get the elimination. Perfect Tilt gets a knock on Provoked in the feed there. Gets the elim. That's number seven, which gives them three points from this game. But Tifu and Cloak are there too. They're going to have to look out. He just wants whatever loot there is here. A great upgrade for both weapons right there. The heavy shotgun in hand, the epic assault rifle in hand. You've got a rocket launcher you could pick up if you'd want to as well. Two slurps right now for Cloaksy. I mean, you'd expect him to drop one. No, Tifu's already got one ticking, and they have a rip to go. How? How, Absolutely how do these it. guys always have, have all no this? I have no idea. They're, and they're, they're going to save the rip to go as well. Using another team's rip to go. The number of players in the air right now. Oh my god. Smack gosh. dab in the middle of the group here. The storm smearing players off at the bottom. I expect the storm to claim a number of players in just a moment here. Then there it is. Look at the feed. Bumpa, DK, Vape Jesus, Left Eye, Wind, Windwalker, Wilds, J Truth. All the Everybody storm. going down here to the storm. Tifu and Cloaksy still alive. Tifu still has a slurp to use. Hasn't had a chance to use it yet. And now he's down to the low ground. This could be the end of the game for Tifu. Cloaksy still a lot more healthy. There you go, Slurp now being popped. We'll slowly begin to tick that health back up. At this point, everybody, every bit of healing could change the game for that duo. The consistency of Tifu and Cloaksy, it is... It's impressive. It's now three straight games in the top ten. Still with an excellent kit, a ton of ammunition for everything. 
10 rockets, 110 shotgun shells. We'll never use them. There's one coming out, tries to get that, but it looks like Goshan actually picks that. Goshan's out five limbs himself, and look at three Pain, players in the high ground. Flame, the FPS all up top. Cloaksy, the shotgun on Goshan there. Picks up his third Elim. That's six total, like you said. So two more. One more puts him at seven. It's Every those two on the that. low ground, and the rest are all going to float down from above. They've got to move with this zone. And now the they've got to, you know, trade back with rockets of their own. The zone's starting to close here. Jack is going to come down to potentially heal off two teams above. Six players remaining. Cloak and Tifu. Tifu with no shield. 75 HP. Cloak, 100, 100. He's in an excellent spot. Everything's reloaded. They're building up. They're b basically establishing every single square on They've the bottom. They've got a campfire and a medkit. They're trying to play around a potential low ground. Fung Bomb gets you a medkit off there. Fung that Bomb's FPS pushing in. Fung Bomb's just trying to heal. Fl oh, Flames Tifu got everything. Tifu gets the knock. But Flames got everything he can ever need, too. Cloak, he's trying to shoot down this top side so they can't heal can they do it there's just three players left they're dropping him on down will they be able to out survive this zone they're floating tifu's now knocked he can't use his heels cloaksy ticking on down just 20 health remaining gets one who wound up winning it cloaksy's down on the low ground as well i believe they got Tifu it they did it. one are you kidding me? The last second push out into the storm may have changed that game from a third or second to a first how, place for Victor Royale. $50,000 for the gentleman from FaZe, Jack. Cloaksy can do no wrong today. Cloaksy can do no wrong. We got to look Here at this Here it is again. from his perspective. Yeah, we cut away at an awkward time, but this hip fire right there and Funk Bomb drops to the storm alongside Flame. Even just one of those AR Ladies shots from Cloak Ladies and have gentlemen, that. you made some noise, but that was not only a victory royale, they had seven eliminations, a six-point game. Tifu and Cloaksy, it's like they heard the interview. They did, they absolutely did. It's like they did. heard it, and they said, no, no, no. Not giving you three in a row, it won't be easy. That means in the first three games, Tifu and Cloaksy, they got second, they got third, and now they've gotten first. Brilliant, brilliant stuff from this duo. There's been threads about it on Reddit. There's been talk on all sorts of social media. Are these two the most consistent duo in all of Fortnite? And guess what? I think right now they're continuing to build that case even more. We had two teams that game with seven eliminations going that big bonus. Couldn't quite land a bit close. Look at that, the reaction. It's much deserved. I mean, look at the, two more ticks to the zone is all he had. The way that they end that game, they get exactly seven eliminations. They get the victory royale, puts them at plus six points there. No surprise, My Jack. 17 eliminations. God. A six point dominant lead from Cloaksy and Tifu from FaZe. I mean, it, 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 for me, it, it, and I'll ask you right now if Tifu and Cloaksy win today, are they, the best, are they the best duo without a doubt in Fortnite right now? I mean, to be quite honest with you, we've seen them through all of He won, and not even just this skirmish, we've seen them repeatedly in Fortnite events before this just put on an absolute, it, it's, it's a, like a clinic yep. in domination. It was, I would say without a doubt, if these two take home the victory, if they keep this trend going, they're at 17 Elims after only three games, and they were at 20 after four games and he won. If they can win this thing and keep this going, absolutely the best duo right now in Fortnite, without a doubt. Yep. Unsurprisingly, Tifu and Cloak, look at these handsome gentlemen on your screen, 17 Elims. Look at the damage dealt to players, 2,378. Only 2,000 damage received, tons of wood requ uh, acquired. But did you see the gap there? The material used was 5,000 different. My gosh. They're, they picked up 5,000 materials from either chests off the ground or, unsurprisingly, their opponents after they're eliminated. Wild. Cloaksy's still in this thing. Looks like Tifu may have been eliminated earlier. But Cloaksy's got four limbs. And as Cloaksy's just, got, I think that's the fifth. That's fifth. Cloaksy now at five, five of himself. Cloaksy has been putting out a show I'm already. I'm telling you, he's the MVP. He is the MVP so far today, absolutely. Oh, and an awkward fight. Didn't land the trap. He's getting ripped up from everywhere, though. He's the target of multiple players at the moment. He's just going to reset with the glider. Scoots out in the storm just barely, landing right next to this tree, kind of hiding himself in the structure. Blood and Raz both looking for a medkit. A shot through, and Raz goes down. It is indeed. Because he just got eliminated. He just got eliminated. Cloaks, he's still alive. The shot he shot up close. Are you kidding me? Base soldier with a rocket. Five players left. Six Elims there on Cloak. Is Sean still alive from Ghost? Well, we're not going to take a look at the full standings right now. We're going to look at the match five results to see where we all kind of stacked up at the end there. Remember, this is the match five results. This is just from this game alone. Nick Merckx and Aiden at the top at five points. But the big thing to take note of in that fourth spot 
Cloaksy and Tifu with three. They'll build more on that lead that they had. And I don't see Nate, yeah, I don't see Nate Hill and Funk Bomb on there. The team in second, so you got to think their lead right back up there yet again. Strong as ever with only one game left. Here we go, Nate Hill and Funk Bomb. This is a duo so we're today. expecting this to see put up some big numbers. My goodness. 17 eliminations from these two. Look at the materials. Yep. 15,000 and almost 10,000 wood acquired between the two of them. 700 more damage dealt than they've received, which I think that explains clearly why they've been picking up so many Elims. Yeah, why they're near those top spots. Nate Snobby Hill. Shores. Popping that mini. Cloak and Tifu in retail. Must have rotated. At this point, I'm assuming they land down in the southeast corner, loot up like crazy, and then make moves towards... Oh my gosh. They go for a rip to get here. 25 eliminations. Look at the material. Almost 20,000 materials used, Jack. I think that's more material than I've ever used in Fortnite. Oh, yeah. This is cumulative stats over the course of, I believe, the entire fall. Uh, or, sorry, just the grand finals. Yeah. I think that makes sense. But either way, Tifu and Cloaksy down low. They've got players on it. That's the new one. That's the new skin that has come on in. The patch patroller. Yeah, those stats were just from the Grand Finals. Uh, available now in the shop. Or will be, will be available tonight. Again, the, the skins today are completely random, so just so happened that Tifu in this final game wound up getting it. So now you've got Cloaksy bouncing around. Tifu and Cloak looking like absolute tanks in the middle of the building there. Base Soldier, Marksman. Marksman missing uh, a little bit of shield, but Base Soldier 100, 100 as well. They're going to start knocking floors out as many materials as they can. 72 hours, by the way, right now, with the most eliminations in the game. You might have seen his name popping up in the feed. He's sitting on three of his own. Yeah, so think Chap might have some. You, you have to imagine, if Chap's sitting on a, even a pair of his own, that's five right there. Which means <laughs> two points. Very, uh, really uh, wanted to damage Very floor. angry at the floor. And TVs, apparently. That Sting Grenade's gonna... Awesome, just a little bit of drop down the shotgun and the second shot from that double barrel miss, but it doesn't matter to Cloak, he gets the, the Elim. And he Tifu. got knocked by a trap, so that player, because they got knocked, they'll be able to get, they should be able to get this res off. And they've got some utility to get out of here as well. Nobody's gonna make a push on that just yet. You saw Bog relocating. Dean was still knocking down a tree, trying to build up his own small one-by-one -one box. Anything to stay alive, the sharing of the shield there. Tifu and Cloak not missing a ton of HP at this point. Yeah, based on the position of the minimap, that had to be them that just got stink bombed. He Here. wants these materials so bad, and, and the, uh, the items down there. There's a look at your scoreboard so far. Nate Hill and Funk Bomb at three, so they'll get a point as well. Tifu and Cloak see at two in total. Blind and Hysteria, who are doing very well in the first half of today. Haven't heard much of them since, but they're on the verge of potentially earning a point, too. You see in the bottom right, Tifu just took a little bit of damage. Another stink grenade coming out. Those those stink bombs are so powerful in these competitive matches because so many players are in Little one boxes. or two or three box mm -hmm. bases, and that's it. It's a Tifu six point eliminated. game for them. Cloaks, he's still around, has three, three to his name right now. 12 players remaining, Jack. Cloak and Tifu oh, are out. Yep. Great performance from them today. We'll find out where they stack up when we reveal the winners. and. Standings after this. I just heard about, you know, who winds up winning the big bonus as well. I know uh, they'll see it on their screens momentarily. I'm, I'm not sure if they want me to spoil it or let them live react to it as well. Oh, There's a look at everybody. And boom, there it is. Most Elims. Most Cloak. eliminations of the weekend. 22. They win $60,000 for that. Cloaksy had 22 Elims. Definitely the battle star this weekend. The oh, man. absolutely. MVP across the board. What an absolute beast. Tifu. How you feeling? I, I don't even know what to say. Like, to be in this position after winning two solos, fall skirmishes, like back to back, like this is a dream come true. Like, I have I, a loss of words. Well, top three. Cloaksy. What you got for me? Dude, I don't, I don't have words. Just shout out to all the fans. Let's go! Guys. You work six weeks. And you come here, and in front of all your fans, you are the number one duo. How are you guys feeling right now? Dude, I don't, I don't have words. Shout out to all the fans. Shout out to my partner, Tifu. Good stuff, Turner.
I'm proud of you. <laughs> Good stuff, Terry. All right, TV, what about you? Cloaksy with the hot carry, dude. We have the hot carry. <laughs> you guys prove to the world that you are number one. Did you think you'd be number one coming into this? Were you guys that confident? What was going through your mind? I mean, the first three games we were up by a lot, so we were pretty confident the whole way through. I mean, I didn't expect this. I knew we were gonna do well, but this is crazy. Cloaksy? I knew we were do, gonna do well, but something clicked today that our synergy was way better than it normally was, and it was scary, but yeah. Congratulations to both of you. Now, would you like to say anything to your fans, everyone joining us here, everyone joining us at home? I love you, Mom. Shout out to all the fans. Thank you guys for supporting me and Turner. I appreciate it. Shout out to all the guys from FaZe here. Much love, boys. TwitchCon, one last time. Let's hear it for your number one duo. With that, Courage and Lupo, make sure you make some noise for them as well. Courage and Lupo. We'll present you guys with some pickaxes. We've got the crew here. You guys pick your weapon of choice. What will it be? Which one? You guys make a choice. You've got a lot of options. There it is. Fortnite fall skirmish. Tifu and Cloaksy get it done. And man, I'll tell you what, from game one to the end, they were sat right on top of that leaderboard. An absolutely dominant show from these two. Multiple games in a row, just destroying the field. Yep. Staying on top literally almost the entire time. We saw them in heat one on the first day, all the way to today. And, and I mean, we even talked about it beforehand. There was kind of no doubt. And there was, we got to a certain point where it was just like, these guys are, it, they're, they're a step above. They most certainly are. I think it's time, Zeke, it's time for you to go back in your box, my friend. It's time to show the final standings as well. Here, Here it we is. Tifu and Cloaksy, 20. All the way at the top. Eight of limbs, 17 points. The live reaction from when they found out that they won it all. Not only did they win the $400,000 for first, they won the $60,000 for most of the limbs. They won $50,000 for the victory royale earlier. <laughs> What a performance, man. I'm just, I'm just laughing. That, that is nuts, dude. That is absolutely that nuts. That duo is going home more than half a million dollars richer between the two of them just from today. Jack, are you kidding me?